60-year-old Margaret McDougall says trying to live in a two-bedroom house since it collapsed on Saturday night has been like playing a game of hopscotch. But I try to go to the front, the front part high and then the, the kitchen part low. So I try to sleep at the front part. Yeah. And then when you have to use the kitchen, explain to me how it is that you have to get and, well, I, well, I don't use the kitchen none at all. We can go buy food, I pass through this door here so we broke up, and I try to lift up my little weight and I go inside. The house, now 20 years old, was a gift from former Albert area representative Marcus Pat. McDougall admits that she has been lax in maintaining the structure over the years. And on Saturday night, under its own weight, the house went crashing to the ground. I did inside the sedan, and after that, my daughter did in the kitchen to cook. And then after the just here, boof, and the house dropped down. But I don't want to jump up because the front piece did the upright. But now when I come downstairs, when I hear this, like the snap, I come downstairs and I look, I see the spot at the down and the spot at the up. But none of them ever get hurt, you understand? But preventing the family from getting hurt is what McDougall is now trying to do, realizing that the structure is unsafe for them to continue to inhabit. But because they have nowhere else to go, they have no choice but to stay there. She hopes that good-hearted people will extend kindness and some assistance. I like need plywood, sail, upright, uh, um, what is it? If they even plywood floor again, you understand? The family has had to buy food because their kitchen suffered the most damage. Their bathroom is also now unusable and had to be transferred outside. They now shower inside a small makeshift area secluded only by sheets and curtains. Marian Ali for News 5.